Hello and welcome to our podcast mini series Data Analysis for Sedentary Behavior. This is episode one of our six part series, and today we will be discussing understanding and pre processing data for sedentary behavior analysis. So let's dive in. So now, before we can even begin to analyze our data, we first need to, well, understand it. You see, when we are dealing with sedentary behavior data, we are often looking at variety of different types of information. This could be anything from accelerator readings to self-reported survey responses to observational data. And naturally, each of these types of data they have their own unique characteristics and quirks that we need to be aware of. So, for instance, accelerometer data is typically continuous and timestamped, meaning we get reading for every moment of the day. This can provide us with the detailed picture of a person's activity levels throughout the day. However, it can also be a bit overwhelming due to the sheer volume of data. On the other hand, self-reported data like survey responses are often categorical or ordinal. This means that they are based on predefined categories or scales. While this type of data might not provide the same level of detail as accelerometer data, it can offer valuable insights into a person's perceptions and experiences of their own sedentary behavior. So as you can see, understanding the nature of our data is the first crucial step in our analysis process. But once we have got the handle on that, we need to move on to our next step, which is pre-processing our data. So now you might be wondering what exactly does pre-processing mean? Well, uh, in a nutshell, Pre-processing is all about getting our data ready for analysis. This, this typically involves cleaning our data, dealing with any missing values, and transforming our data into a format that's suitable for analysis. Let's take cleaning our data, for example. This could involve removing any irrelevant data, correcting any errors, and checking for any inconsistencies. It's a bit like tidying up your house before you have guests over. You want to make sure everything is in its right place and looking its best. Then we have dealing with missing values. Now missing data is a common issue in, in any research and it's something we need to handle carefully. Depending on the nature and extent of the missing data, we might choose to fill in the gaps using a method like mean imputation, where we replace missing values with the mean value of the available data, or in some cases, we might decide to exclude the missing data from our analysis altogether. And finally, we have data transformation. This is where we might choose to convert our data into a different format to make it easier to analyze. For instance, we might choose to binarize our data, which means converting it into a format of yes or no responses, or we might choose to normalize our data, which involves adjusting the values to a common scale. So. There you have it, understanding and pre-processing our data are the first crucial steps in our journey towards analyzing sedentary behavior. It's, it's a bit like preparing for a long journey, you need to do this part and you wouldn't just set off without first checking your route and packing your bags and the same principle applies here. By, by taking the time to understand and pre-process our data, we are setting our, ourselves up for a successful analysis. And that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you found it informative and helpful. In our next episode, we will be moving 
on to discuss different techniques for analyzing sedentary behavior data. So make sure you tune in for that. And that wraps up our first episode where we have discussed understanding and pre-processing data for sedentary behavior analysis. If you are planning to measure sedentary behavior, I would be glad to have a quick video call with you. If this is of interest, you can find the link to book a call in the episode description. In the next episode, we will be diving into techniques for analyzing sedentary behavior data. Thanks for listening and feel free to share your thoughts on Twitter and have a brilliant day.